Hello and welcome to this episode of Sunday Special. How many times have you faced challenges in changing anything in your existing routine like adding some new habit, some new change, some new schedule or maybe your diet or maybe the way of living? We always face challenges whenever we make any changes in our existing schedule or routine. Now this is completely okay and this is completely natural. Sometimes we get too motivated and we start with a lot of enthusiasm and we do something new for few days but eventually we lose the energy, we lose the momentum and the motivation and we come back to our normal routine. Now there is a scientific process how you can develop uh, these habits or how you can make these changes effortless and that is exactly what I am going to talk about in this video. This is going to be very practical. You can right away go and implement all these things. So watch this video, the entire video very carefully and let's get started. I am going to tell you 5 tips and these are very easy and very practical. If you apply these 5 tips, you will be able to see the difference and you will be able to master the art of making change effortless. The first tip is start very small. Now this is one of the major reasons why most of us fail is we try to do something very big instantly which is always not recommended. Let me give you an example. Suppose you wake up at 8 a.m. every day and you want to wake up early. Let us say you want to wake up at 6 a.m. Now, if you uh, set up your alarm for 6 a.m. or even 7 a.m., it will may work for one or two days because you are very enthusiastic, you have lots of motivation, but then eventually you will not be able to sustain it because your body and brain are accustomed to wake up at 8 a.m. And if you bring a drastic change like uh, uh, setting up an alarm clock for 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. it may not work. The idea here is make the change so so very small that your brain your body will not uh, give you any resistance. For example if you are waking up at 8 a.m. the next day set up an alarm for 5 minutes earlier that is 7.55 a.m. and if you think you are able to wake up without any resistance you can set up the next day alarm even 5 minutes earlier like 7.50 a.m or you may continue at the same time for few days before making the next change or before taking the next step. So that is step number one or tip number one that make the change very small and start very small. The second tip is know yourself and by this I mean that you have to ask yourself some questions like do I really want to do this? Uh, can I sustain it for long term? Am I ready to sacrifice other things for this thing? And whatever questions you can think of ask yourself sit in a quiet place and give honest answers. The idea here is we want to eliminate or we want to filter out uh, all these things which you do not really want. Maybe for the present moment you may think that you need all these things but ask yourself and give honest answers so that we can filter out all the things you may not require and we can focus on one thing that you actually need to change. So this is tip number two. Tip number three is have a plan. Once you have finalized what you want to do and why you want to do, now it is time to make a proper plan. Take a paper and pen and write down your plan and everything in detail, go very atomic, write down each and every detail, what exactly you want to achieve, uh, when you will start, what time, schedule, routine, everything that you can think of, write down properly at a, in a very detailed and atomic way and also keep that paper with you. Now this makes your plan physical and you will be more committed to achieve it. So this is tip number three. Tip number four is take help. If you are trying to do or achieve something that somebody has already done or achieved in the past, do not hesitate to ask for help. It will save you a lot of time and energy and uh, you can avoid a lot of unnecessary mistakes and failures. So you do not hesitate to ask for help. And also if you can share it with some of your close friends or family members who you can trust, you can do that. It will make you more committed towards your goal, towards your plans. Tip number five is plan a reward. Now, once you have decided your plan and you are start, you have started working on your plan, you can divide into sections or daily routines or maybe weekly or whatever you can think of is fine with you. And then on achieving of every milestone or every section, you can plan a reward for yourself and you can again write that down in your plan where you had created your initial plan in the paper. So that will make you more committed and you will also feel happy and you will be more energized to achieve your 
weekly or daily or monthly goals so plan yourself a reward a vacation or whatever you can think of and uh, do it very honestly so do it daily and in a very honest way and this will make you more committed and you will be really happy to achieve your milestones you can write down in the comments what exactly you want to change or what change you want to bring in your lives let me know in the comment section below and i will meet you in the next episode of sunday special thank you for watching